Walkers with the shade. They said they ain't want no more op makeup. So. What's good, Shady Gang? Welcome back to another show with August with the Shade. Listen, go ahead and grab your cups, because you already know I'm about to spill the tea, and y'all know I keep the shade. Now, today's video is going to be about the City Girls and Nicki Minaj. Let's go ahead and get into the tea. Now, City Girls has been doing a press run for their album, Raw, and you know, the album sales were not good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the girls weren't able to bring themselves the way that they did before. I feel like their first album was pretty much like their breakout album, and people really, really tainted that album, but it was because of the ratchet vibe. It was because, you know, the girls were something different. It was like, you know, it was different then. But now I feel like a lot of people aren't paying attention to the city girls because they've been booed up. They haven't really been living a city girl's life. So they're, they're nothing to pay attention to. You know, um, JT kind of been on her solo girl stuff. She's been, you know, running around with Nicki Minaj. She's been rubbing shoulders with Stunner Girl and stuff like that. So she's literally been on a different vibration, in my opinion. And I feel like Young Miami has, you know, been doing her own thing as well. She has kids and she's also in like a little public relationship with diddy i think that's what, how you want to say it but whatever but um the album didn't do well okay they were projected to sell six thousand copies in its first week which is a really really bad thing for these girls they've been out for a very long time I, I, almost five years and you know every single album that they've been putting out since their first one it has not hit so we, let, let's just see how this goes you know i'm i really want to talk about jt going solo because after this whole interview that they did with the breakfast club and hot 97 i just didn't feel like their energy is meshing well you know i feel like these two girls live two separate lives and they also said that as well but their separate lives have called them to cause them to not have any type of um like chemistry in the videos the chemistry in the songs i mean everything just sounds a little weird but what i thought was weird how you know when jt brings up Nicki minaj how young miami acts now we know young, Mi young miami was once a fan of Nicki minaj and you know she's also been seen asking Nicki minaj to unblock her and Nicki cho you chose to keep her you know keep on block as she should because of the things that she said about cardi b and everybody else in 2018 now if you were a part of that train that everybody left at the station then i'm gonna need you to just back up because I'm, I'm i know for a fact that Nicki's not going to give you what you want so i feel like you know, Young Miami did not like the fact that JT brought up Nicki Minaj. Y'all look at how JT and um, Young Miami, re you know, interacted while she was talking about Nicki. Jamar's Nicki. Mm. She do not play. Like, she don't, she do not play. Like, if she told me one time, she was like, she, she'll say, every day you won't win, but you a loser. You see what I'm saying? There's something a little weird about this little, you know... I don't think that she's cool with them two being friends. Just like I feel like JT feels a way about her being friends with Santana. Like, let's just keep it a bean. So, you know, if Young Miami want to act anyway, you be all over the internet with Santana doing all kind of crazy stuff like he's the other city girl. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know why she's acting like it's a problem with her wanting to be around Nicki and be cool with her. So, you know, I feel like Young Miami need to move around, allow JT to go solo. You know, she I know she didn't like the fact that JT was basically talking about her being a rapper for a very long time and not really acknowledging her rap skills. But, in my opinion, I feel like both of these girls are beautiful. They both have, you know, some sort of talent and they would be able to do a lot in the industry. You know, JT already said she ain't going back to Miami, okay? So, let's just see how this plays out. I want to know what everybody on the internet thinks. I want to know how, you know, they are watching now that JT is like the it girl and how young Miami is not being able to, you know, agree with some of the criticism that she's receiving and, you know, on the internet. But, let's just see. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I want to know what y'all think about, you know, young Miami just like kind of being shady towards Nikki. Like the energy, the body language, wasn't feeling it. But, want to know what y'all think. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'm out. I'm not even a man and got my d*** in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. August with the shade talking about who we swinging on tonight. Why y'all gotta be swinging on somebody? Why people 